Hi everyone, I'm Jerry and today I'm at Snowshoe Resort. Russell has ventured out to the Snowshoe Downhill Bike Park. While he's doing that, I'm going to um, sh do a little video and show you some clips of what the top of Snowshoe looks like. There's some restaurants up here, some shops, so let's get started. To make it to the top, you're going to see the parking to the right, cross the street, and you'll see where you can enter where the main restaurants and shops are located. So as you're entering, the first thing you're going to see right here is the information booth. If you're new to Snowshoe, this is a great spot you can stop. Um, they're really knowledgeable there. If you're not sure where to go, what to do, stop at the information booth. Let them help you out. Now right to the left of the information booth, you just have some lodging down there. So we're going to start our way up the hill and I'm going to show you um, what's here. So we, here we have a clothing shop called 4848. We have Highland House and we have a Mexican restaurant right beside the Highland House. It's pretty good, we've ate there a few times. So a couple little specialty shops here. One I suggest popping into if you're new to Snowshoe is the West Virginia Market. And then another favorite place that we stop at every time we come is the Foxfire Grill. Um, they have a lot of uh, barbecue style food, chicken, ribs, wings. If you come here, it's one of the places you'll probably wanna pop into and check out. You're also going to see First Track Real Estate and Pocahontas Supply Company. So we've made it to the main part of the village and here you're going to find a Starbucks. You're going to find an Old Spruce Cafe and Tavern and the Old Spruce Draft House. And this is Cheap Mountain Pizza. We've ate here several times also. Really good. I recommend stopping here if you visit Snowshoe. And right across from that, you have the Junction Ale House. And right beside the pizza place, you have the Old Spruce Draft House. This is another place you must stop if you visit Snowshoe. They keep a lot of craft beers on tap. Um, it's just a nice little place to hang out in the evening. All right, so I mentioned earlier that Russell was on the downhill bike park all day. We're at lunch. He's taking a little break. We're going to check in with him and see how his day is going on the downhill bike park. Hello there, Ian Fresh. Fresh and extreme here at Snowshoe Mountain Bike Park. Taking a little break here at the Junction Ale House, having a ice cold watermelon beer, and I highly recommend you stop by. All right, guys. So next, we're at the Mountain Adventure Center. This is where you're going to come to Snowshoe if you want to rent a downhill bike. They also have some nice clothing items in there. And then we're going to walk up and just show you the main lift. Um, this is the actual bike park. You can see the signs. And this is one of the more, more popular lifts. Um, I think this is the one Russell uses most of the time. So this just gives you a little view of what's going on up here. Now right beside this main lift, you have the Mountain Lodge in Allegheny Springs. If you just want to be really close to the lift and have easy access, I would recommend staying at either one of these places. So we're right back down to the main part of the village now and this just shows you the spa location. And right beside the spa you're going to see a set of steps that takes you up to Allegheny Springs. Or if you keep going straight you're going to go to the Split Rocks Pool. Let me just take you to the top of the steps and show you um, the front of Allegheny Springs so you can see what that looks like. And we're gonna come back down and show you a little bit about the Split Rocks Pool next. So when you enter the main area, you're gonna actually see the pool off to the right. And the first hot tub is gonna be right here on the left. This is a decent sized pool with an indoor and outdoor area. It has a dry sauna, it has chairs you can sit on, and it has a second hot tub over to the side that's covered. All right guys, there you have it. There's some things that you can expect whenever you visit Snowshoe Mountain Resort. Don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button. Thanks so much.